Hello, I'm Zane Smith. Thank you for watching The Red Zone. Uh, today we're going to go over pitching, right? So this is a little review from our pitching lesson that we did. Um, so whenever we're pitching, right, it's going to be the opposite than when we were thinking of chipping. Chipping was whenever we're going from this end of the grip, landing it here at the end of the grip here, and then letting it roll. Uh, instead of that, what we're going to do is we're going to try and land it, try and carry it all the way to the end of the grip here, and then let it roll for the rest of the grip. So it's going to roll a lot less than it flies. And so whenever I'm chi uh, pitching, whenever I'm hitting a pitch shot, okay, there's gonna be a few things that I do differently than a chip. Number one, right, because I'm taking a bigger swing, I've gotta take a bigger swing, okay, I'm not gonna have such a steep shaft angle this time, right? I'm actually going to set it down uh, relatively flat. And the reason being is because I don't need that shaft to be so steep because I'm swinging with more speed, the grain's not really going to affect it too much. And there are other things we can do to help with grain with a pitch. So I'm going to make sure I get it flat. Now, that means that I'm going to be standing a little further away from it. And I'm also going to get my feet wider because I'm going to be taking a bigger swing. Okay, I need that added stability. The weight's still going to be on the left side, so I'm still going to put the weight there. And then what I'm going to do in order to get a little bit more uh, forgiveness with the grain is I'm going to open up the face slightly. Okay, that's really going to help that thing slide. I'm using more of the bounce on the bottom of the club. Okay, so that's going to allow that thing to slide a lot easier. And then the last thing that you need to know is just distance and speed, right? So if I'm trying to hit at a certain distance, right, I've got to try and do the same thing that we were doing with the putter. Okay, I've got to focus on making the same tempo every time. And if I want to change the, the distance, I just want to change how far back I take it. If I keep that tempo and then just change the distance I take it back, that's going to make it much more consistent on where I'm carrying the shot each time. So, for instance, I know that if I take it back to my waist, I know it's going to go about 30 yards, right? I know that if I take it to the chest, it's going to go about 50 yards. And I know if I take it to my shoulder, that's going to go about 75 yards. Okay, so I know that, and so that whenever I go out to play and I get that yardage or something close to it, I know I can play that shot. It's also true that because this is a 58, right, this is a 58, that if, say, I have a shot that's 40 yards, longer than the, the 30, shorter than the 50, why not just take the 54 and take it back where I took the 30 with the 58? Okay, so that's something to think about. You don't necessarily need to use the highest lofted club whenever you're closer to the green. You want to use whatever gives you that consistent distance, whatever gets you that consistent shot. Okay, and that's going to lower your scores. If I'm trying to do too much, if I'm trying to open up the face, right, uh, too much or, or too many times, if I'm trying to choke up more than I usually do, if I'm trying to do all these different variables, I'm going to mess myself up, and I'm going to go and get in my own head about it, right? So I want to change as little as possible, and that is making sure, number one, if I need to, take it back further. Number two, just changing club, right? So those two things are the things that you just want to focus on. If you're a more advanced player, right, then you can add in all that extra stuff. But again, if you're just the guy that's gonna, that wants to take it from 90 to 80, right, then that's what you want to do. You want to just focus on those two things, right? And I would, I would hope that you write that down. So if you find out that this right here, that this to there goes 30 yards, so if we go here to there, if we find out that goes 30 yards, well, then write that down. Make sure you write that down whenever you, um, whenever you get a chance. And then if I take it back here to here, all I need to do is take it further, is take it back a little bit further. Let's go to the chest. Let's see how far it goes to the chest. There it is, that's about 50, okay? And then if I wanna to hit to the end of that green, this is probably gonna go over this green, but if I wanna to go to 75, I just take it back to 75, and then I swing all the way through, okay? All right, so make sure you try that at home. Make sure you try that, uh, try to find that distance that works for you on whichever uh, club you're using, and try all your wedges, whether, you know, if you're a three wedge person, you have two wedges in your bag, make sure you find those distances with all your wedges, so that you can be more consistent in where you land the ball and where you go uh, with your pitch shots. So anyway, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for joining me and the Red Zone, and thanks for watching the video.